Hello everyone, welcome back. I went to fetch a very exciting parcel this morning. Um, so my friend and I decided to do a dolly swap, literally swapping BJDs. I'm having a bit of space issue, so I have to downsize my collection a lot. I'm selling all my Playline dolls. Some of my BJDs had to go, unfortunately. But it's a long story, which I will share sometime on my uh, page of why I had to do that. But uh, the doll I swap was my beautiful raccoon doll Mika. At least I know that I would be able to order another one in the future if I would like to. But uh, let's see who's in here. Okay, so this parcel is from uh, HK Dolly Design Studio or Hilandri, my friend, and she always spoils you to death with her. <laughs> <laughs> with their parcels so look at this hefty bag of clothing for this girl that is wild <laughs> but okay let's get into the main thing so i have a feeling that they sent her this doll in just this uh, blister pack i guess which is quite odd and just to point out um you can see that this one came loose. Now she told me about it because that's how she received it. So if it was just in the blister pack, then that might be why. Um, but I asked her not to fix it because I might need to travel with this box and then I might be able to take it apart and take it with me. I'm hoping that could happen. So let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, this doll is by Larissa Nasanovic, if I'm saying that correctly. Now, she is a Russian artist, if I um, understand it correctly. Um, so my friend was lucky enough to purchase her before all the san sanctions and everything happened. I have to note that that was before the war started. So, of course, you know, it's not always the artists who support what happens. Um, you know, they might be completely against it, but still um, suffering from the sanctions. So I have no hard feelings towards the artist. So let's open her. Wow, she is so tiny. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Here she is. Her name is Assol. She's a Laristal Assol. Hmm, I might rename her. She has a very, very interesting skin tone. Hmm. <gasps> Look at the jointed toes. Oh, beautiful. And she feels so, so, so good. I wonder what the hair... I think Kalandu told me what the hair is made of. So she comes with a wig and eyes. I would like to know if it's possible to remove the eyes. As you may know, I do enjoy making eyes. Not that I'm sure if my eyes would fit. Oh, yeah, it seems you can. Very, it's gonna be uh, tough, but it's doable. Look at that. Oh, wow. She kind of reminds me almost of a porcelain doll. I don't think she is. I think she's resin. Not sure if she's printed or casted. Beautiful details. Wow. She is stunning. And the artist also adds the face up as well. Very, very beautiful. So unique. Okay, so let's see what clothes she added for this little girl. Look at how cute the bag is. <laughs> little fairy. Really cute. Oh, a bag. A 
this is a super awesome sweater. Oh, beautiful dress. I know there's a, um, a seamstress close to her that makes beautiful doll clothes. I think this might be some of her things. Sorry for the noise, it's really hot, so I've got the AC on. Some tights, really cool. Oh, and a shirt. Is it a Barbie shirt, or is it one that she could have made? From printed material, I'm not sure. Cool nonetheless. Another beautiful dress. Oh, look at this. I remember she shared a pic of this hat on Russell and it really fits her nicely. She's an elegant lady. Oh, beautiful. Simple, but so, so beautiful. Skirt. Nice. Oh, another skirt, like a pin skirt. Ooh. Elegant. <laughs> nice shirt. Ah, and one more thing is a little accessory, which I guess could double as a headpiece or a necklace. Very, very cool. So I think I'm just going to do a quick dress up. I'm going to have a lot of fun dressing up this girl. Just quickly going to choose something to get her dressed and then I'll have fun probably off camera. I think since it's so hot, I'm just gonna go with something simplistic, and that is a dress. So I'm just adding this little Bratz bag, which I had around, maybe a necklace. Then for shoes, I'm not gonna put on any shoes today because I still need to find out what works. Maybe I'll do a dress up video and a fit video to see which shoes she can wear. I think I'm also going to try and depoof her hair. I think it is a natural fiber, like mohair maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe I can put some hot water maybe? We'll see, I'll try, I'll try something, just to calm it down a little bit. So once again, thank you so much for this swap and laundry. I am absolutely in love with her. I think I'm going to have so much fun playing with her. And I really hope you enjoy Mika as well. Thanks for watching everyone.